they don't know it yet, they're not getting it back. They asked for it back. They're not getting it back. <laughs> they just don't, they don't know it yet. What is happening, Boot Junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on Home Studio Setup for VoiceOver. Oh, and we have got the shootout of the century in the booth today. It's really to showcase this particular microphone right here, because in the process of my testing, I have been impressed. Color me impressed. Shockingly color me impressed, because when I first saw this microphone, I was like, Oh boy. Okay. We'll see. But over the course of the past few days of using this microphone, color me impressed. And you're going to see why in just a minute. What microphone is in the booth? It's this one right here. This is the Tech Zone Audio Products. Tech Zone Audio Products Stellar X2 microphone. I think it's the X2. I think is how you say it. Maybe X2. I'm going to go with X2 because I think calling it the X squared microphone is a little bit of a weird one. What are we comparing it against? We're comparing it against the Neumann U87 AI. Quite a tall, ooh, sorry, quite a tall order to compare these two microphones. And it's probably not justified, but I'm doing it anyway. And I think you'll see why in just a couple of minutes. This microphone came to me, this one, the Stellar X2, came to me unannounced. It just showed up in my, in my box uh, with an ask if I'd like to review it on my channel and if I could send it back when I'm done because they are, they are a very small company. Brand new, they have two microphones. They've got the X2 and like the X267, I think it's called. Uh, X2, I'm oh, sorry, K47. So let's talk about this. So... It's my understanding that this microphone company, Tech Zone Audio Products, that's not the best. I have trouble with that name because this doesn't feel like a Tech Zone Audio Products. That's got like a very like computer shopper kind of name to it. But Tech Zone Audio Products is a... Sorry. I it... This microphone is so good, the company... <laughs> The company needs a better name. Oh, gosh. I like I'm some sort of consultant or something. So this microphone came to me unannounced. It showed up with an ask uh, if I could if I could um, review it and then send it back because they're a small company. They hand make these microphones. Now, the uh, website is a little iffy on what exactly they do. It says that um, they take... We take, it says, we take ordinary microphones and redesign them completely. We replace their circuits and their capsules. So in that case, what I think that marketing material is trying to say is they take microphone schematics and designs and they tweak them, they re-implement them. Okay. Okay, I'll buy that. Um, they, uh, they say in the marketing material that came to me, where is it? It's in the letter that they sent to me. Actually, this comes in the microphone case that they're emulating a Neumann U87 or slash 67 design. So in this letter, they say that they're specifically trying to emulate an ancestor of the, this is the U87 AI, but they're emulating sort of the, a more vintage U87 um, microphone design. And the, the vintage U87, I mean, that's sort of like one of the, one of the, one of the big ones, right? That's one of the major microphones that if you find one from the seventies, you're going to pay three, four, five thousand dollars for it potentially, because they are very, very desirable microphones. And they, they have, a, they have earned their reputation. And so we're going back and forth between the, the modern version of it. This is the one that you can get right now. This is the U87 AI and this Stellar X2. So it's a small company. Um, they appear to hand make both. Uh, they, they hand solder their circuit boards. They hand make their capsules. Like if you believe the videos that they're putting out, they make their own capsules. They hand solder their own, uh, their, their own boards. And... When I go back and forth, the difference between these two microphones is astonishingly small. I will say that the that the Stellar X2 has a bit higher noise floor. The U87 is essentially inaudible. The noise floor on the U on the U87 is essentially inaudible. There is a slightly higher noise floor on the uh, on the X2. 
I'm just going to shut up for a second and we'll take a listen. Right, you can hear it. You can hear it. There is a little bit of a very low underlying noise floor. So, but if you're right up on the microphone, you see that when you when I'm talking into the microphone, you don't hear any. You don't hear any difference. The X2 is a single pattern microphone as opposed to the U87, which is a multi pattern. So this one's got a Cardio 8 and a Omni and Figure 8. This one is really just a um, a cardioid pattern. So this is probably more an emulation of the 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 microphone today would probably be, I don't know, maybe the TLM-103, still a $1,000 microphone. This one would be maybe sort of comparable to that in the single patternness of it, whereas the uh, U87 has multiple uh, multiple patterns. Uh, but for voiceover work, we're pretty much a cardioid-type pattern for most of us for most of the time. In the box, you get the microphone itself, you get... One of these uh, inexpensive squeezy shock mounts. These are like you buy these shock mounts for like know, $13, $14. And it comes with a rather robust clown nose, right? So this is your pop filter. Rather than having a screen, it's got a foam filter, uh, which is not unusual. Like you, uh, you'll see a lot of audiobook narrators and stuff use the, uh, use the Neumann uh, clown nose over the top, maybe in addition to a pop filter. They are very similar in size and scope. I will say that the foam on the... The Neumanns is a little bit um, denser, but this thing on its own, this, this thing is $50 for a $3,000 microphone. Whereas this one, it comes with it. Hey, hey, very nice. I'm going to put them on just so uh, we can actually um, see how they, how they work. Oh, yeah. See, it just slides right on there. But this is going to totally get in the way. So now you won't be able to see me at all. <laughs> Shouldn't affect the sound too much. They should both be acoustically transparent. It should not affect it. But both of these have really sensitive uh, large capsules. They're about an inch large capsules. So these both of these microphones are very easy to pop. So this one does come with this one filter. I'm going to pull it off for the purposes of the video. But I wanted you to see that it's a very similar, very similar setup. Okay. All right. Come on now. There we go. And we'll take this one off. That one slides off a little bit easier. All right. They both um, do in this pattern. They do both have a really nice proximity effect. So first I'll get up on the proximity effect on the X2, the Stellar X2. It does have a very nice uh, proximity effect, as does the U87. I think the U87 also has a really nice proximity effect. I mean, it's the one that, you know, voice actors all over the world they use this microphone for reading their audiobooks, doing commercials, doing everything, right? So this microphone also has a really nice proximity effect. And so when you're getting up close to them, I do think they sound good. The frequency response of the X2, they say emulates the more vintage uh, U87, or they've got it tuned to try and emulate that. So this one does say it's it's got a frequency response that starts to drop off significantly above 18,000 uh, 18, hertz, whereas I think the U87's, it's just tw you know 20 to 20. It's got the, they got the full range uh, of spectrum. I do find that this is still, that doesn't make this a dark microphone. It still is a nice bright microphone, and it's also a very smooth microphone. And you can hear as we go back and forth, the difference between these two microphones is subtle. So why did I compare these two beyond the fact that this one says it emulates this one? Well, here's the rub. Here's the rub. This microphone is $140. This microphone is $3,200. You got any issue with this? Going back and forth between these two microphones? I mean, the difference between them in price alone is why I'm buying this one. Thanks, guys. I'm buying it. I'm paying full retail. I'm not getting a discount. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not going to buy it from them. Because I think they've got, I want to support a company that can do this. I don't think if they get popular, I don't think they're going to be able to sustain $139 for this microphone. 
Not if they're going to keep building it by hand. Not if they're going to keep building their hand capsule. So I'm going to try and get in while this one's good and give them. I want to. I want to support them and try and give them money so that they can continue to try and make microphones with an ever lower noise floor that have a nice robust sound. Supporting a supporting these guys uh, because I want them to succeed. Because I have been incredibly impressed with the Tech Zone Audio Products Stellar X2. Thanks for sending it to me, guys. The check is on the way. That's all I got for you today. That's all I got for you today. I really encourage you to, to, to give, these, uh, give these guys a shot. Give them a shot because um, they don't know yet, but I, I, I bought this microphone from them. Anyway, <laughs> worth 139 bucks and worth supporting a company that I think is worth supporting, at least in the products they manufacture. Pretty good stuff. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Now, go get yourself a microphone, large diaphragm condenser, maybe, you know, a nice inexpensive one that can compete with, uh, you know, one of the big boys. Anyway, go out and get yourself a microphone, make yourself a booth, go record something amazing. Thanks. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.